Let's see if we can put the similarity down. Okay, that, that works for now. Uh, actually, that's a little bit ugly. What have I done? What have I done? Wasteful. There we go, there we go. Get that, get that. I need to stop my head from being so shiny. See, this is the problem. You pick green, but the human skin is also just a little bit green, so you need to do that carefully. Okay, this is about what I can reasonably bring it to. Let's continue. <laughs> Explaining things ruins the world. Well, that's why I became a teacher. To screw you guys. So, here's the thing we can think of. To get back to this uh, thing. Remember when I said, oh, we don't have the 4K? 4,080 meters per second. Except, we are launching this from Kerbin. So, when we're at Kerbin, we do not have the meters per second. But... Already, if we're five kilometers in the air, we do have the meters per second. So the more we rise up, the better our ISP is going to be. This thing should be able to make it to orbit. Particularly, I think, if we... Well... You know what? This has a thrust to weight of 1.7. These boosters can actually get us up when this one... Um, starts blasting. Now, final, final touch, I think. Just to be cool. We don't need this. But you know what? I like it. We'll put separatrons on these rockets. So that when these babies fire, when these detach, they get whisked away. Hey there, Alex. Good to see you. How are you doing? You should make a checklist for the typical things by now. RCS, Kerbal Engineer, Parachutes. Ah, uh, yeah. Radial busters can lift you to 70. Uh, then it will be, uh, be better to put Poodle Engine as a central. I don't think these can lift me to 70, though. These things will be burning for 50 seconds. So, they won't be lifting me to 70. I think this one will finish me up in... You know what, let's see what the thrust to weight is though. Let's, let's check out your suggestion here. If we put a poodle, this gets me up in the air, but we would need to get to 10 kilometers at the least to get positive uh, thrust to weight. And it would never be more than 1.26. Can we get to 10 kilometers on this? I, you know what? Let's give it a try. This rocket is fairly cheap. 35,000. Let's give that a try, Maffy. Um, you know what? This is funny, but we don't, we don't need this. It's just a waste. Oh, hold on. There we go. Yeah, that gets us 5k. We don't actually need 5k. Um, we don't need 5k, but we'll just test this and see. Because uh, I don't like the 1.07 thrust weight. Let's see. We're just going to launch this baby and see where we get. And yeah, I know. The higher up you launch, the better your um, efficiency is already going to be. There we go. Save this. Get a cool mission flag. It's not a tourism contract. It's a rover. Ooh, retro. That looks cool. Oh, Jeb. You know what? Cat flag. 
Yeah. Let's test this baby. It's cheap enough for a test flight where it can crash and burn if we need to. Another Jex's Apollo mission. Um, this one is, in fact, just a rover mission. Since all the names that I've been giving them have been driving me mad, uh, the abbreviation, we're just calling this one Aero, uh, R-O-V, for rover. Okay, let's get these signs here now off. Whoop. Let's test this. I don't know if this will reach high enough. It is squat and fat, and that is not good aerodynamically. It seems like a very mean comment to make about a Kerbal. You're squat and fat. You're not aerodynamic, buddy. Okay, whoa. Oh, this, this, it's a little bit... It's got a shimmy to it. Let's see, if we hit 10k, then our thrust weight will be okay. Keep an eye on the thrust to weight down there. I don't think we're going to be hitting 10k with this. Oh, wait, we will be hitting 10k. Perfect. 10k was the uh, basically our limit for the Poodle engine's efficiency to be greater than 1. Oh, God, this thing is flip in no time. So our thrust to weight right now is 1.04. It's not good. You'd like it to be 1.3, but you know, it'll it'll do. It'll do. And this thing will be far more efficient higher up. Mafi, thank you for that suggestion. That was uh that was real good. I need to practice checking these efficiencies more and more. There we go. See, 1.27, 1.28. The thrust to weight uh, is going to increase as this thing's uh, impulse increases the higher we get. The higher we get, the higher its thrust is, because it's just... Actually, the thrust is uh, velocity, but the impulse increases. It just does better. There we go. The thing you were wondering about this game, how good is the tutorial? Because you've enjoyed watching me play. Thank you. There's no doubt in your mind that the game has a lot of moving parts and you're not as rocket science-y as I seem to be. I learned everything I know about rocket science from this game. Um... I've never played a tutorial, to be honest. Um, I think there's tutorial missions, I have no idea. I've learned everything from YouTubers. YouTubers and Twitch streamers. Uh, particularly Scott Manley, M-A-N-L-E-Y. He has very good introductory things of how to make certain rockets, how to do it. He has a tutorial series on his YouTube, which is top-notch. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get going. Um, the wiki has some good tutorials, how to get to orbit, how to do your first moon landing, um, and that one is very solid as well. So I don't know if the in-game tutorial will treat you well, but certainly the things that are available on YouTube and on the wiki are very good. This thing now has way too much delta V. See, I like this one. We can, because of the power of this engine, we can now just go full blast and not worry. There we go. Let's keep this one focused on prograde, and we're just going to wait for the apoapsis a little bit. But yeah, the game does have a lot of moving parts, Alex, although I think some of what you've seen here is um, the movements we're making. They're sort of the core things that you need to know. Uh, the design of the rockets is tricky, and that comes with a lot of learning. And as you can see, like Mafi's suggestion, 
I'm still learning, and I've put several hundred hours in this game. I know people who have never been able to do a mud landing, yet say, uh, say that they have two to three hour, hundred hours in the game. It's it's very much about just play around and see where you can get. And I think you'd be happy to know, uh, Alex, that there's also a very big um, sort of aesthetics community, I could say. There are people who play this game to design beautiful looking rockets and share that with people. It is amazing, and I mean, the things they build are mind-blowing, like full-on transformers, an actual Starscream transformer. It's a giant robot that can morph into a plane and fly. The things that some people do with this game just astound me to such a degree. There we go. So, we want to get an encounter with Minmus. First thing we want, uh, we need to do is, whoop, make sure that our relative inclinations are matched. And as always, the best place to do that, oi, 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 no, no, no. The best place to do that is on an ascending or descending node. I'm gonna make sure to adjust this, and again, as soon as these flip, oh, there we go, that was the flip. As soon as these flip, that's exactly when you've reached the point that you need to reach. There we go. So that is our next adjustment. And now that we have so much fuel in this tank, this was going to be the engine we used to do all of that, but hey, we're fine. Let's make sure that we extend the solar panel so we don't accidentally... There we go. Get... What am I thinking of? Is the anti-normal? That we don't actually... Um, miss out on any power. Here's an issue. I was expecting to be in this stage by now. We could probably just switch to it without any problem but if we've brought an extra thousand meters per second why not use that that's all reassuring oh yeah yeah yeah. don't a lot of the fun in this game is people failing spectacularly that's that's really the main experience in Kerbal which is hilarious and one of the things is if you want to get started with this I can recommend you certain mods that you could absolutely make use of, like the Kerbal Engineer, um, like some of the node improvements that I have. Those are those are a lot of fun and very useful. Some of the other things, like Kerbalism, the life support, don't use that for your first game. That would that would be very frustrating. No, you can you can change a lot of settings to make the game easier to start with. You know, you, normally, for instance, quick saves and reverts are all heavily used. Because you put something in the air, it explodes, and then you go, ah, revert to vehicle building, why did that go wrong? For me, it's more um, an extra excitement to not use that. Okay, three, two, one, burn. We have 13 seconds of burn, 10 seconds left. Five seconds left. Check the relative inclination lowering. Two. One. Relative inclination is 0 0.14. Not super good. We'd Ideally, we'd love it to be lower. But okay. I'll, uh, I'll accept it. Now, my little rule of thumb in general is... Quarter orbit gets you an encounter. And then you adjust from there for the specifics. There we go. See, I'm very much off. So... That gets us an encounter. How far away is that node? A minute away. Uh, that's okay. We'll make that. A 
Minimus is way easier to land. Yup. Yeah. Normally, I'd always do Minimus first because the gravity is so low there. It's... you need so little Delta V to do anything on Minmus. But yeah, for absolutely new players, they'll think, Oh god, no, the moon is just here. The Minmus is way over there. And it's the inclination change. If you don't know what you're doing at the start, if you're just starting out with the game, inclination changes are like magic. And then you find out it literally is nothing. It's... The first... ah, oh, the first time I tried to get to Minmus, I'd follow tutorials and I knew um, how to get into that equatorial orbit, so that's what I did. But then I had to get to Minmus, and I thought like, why are there only two spots where you can go to Minmus? I always end up too low or too high. How do I do this? And then you just learn about inclination change and you think, oh, it's because I had no idea what I was doing. Ah. Okay. Now, fortunately, we can do all of this with our one engine, our main booster engine. You know what? If at all possible, I'd actually like to see if I can let that one get on a direct intercept with Minmus so it crashes and burns, and then we'll use the other engine to adjust. Okay, very carefully. Very co oh! I said very carefully, and then I do that. Okay, you don't want to get a polar orbit, so we're going to have to adjust anyway. We are here. We have 114 meters per second of delta V left here. I'd rather be working with this thousand by now. Because this thing is not... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Don't leave your RCS on. This thing is not maneuverable. And as you can see, the RCS is not designed to handle this weight. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be decoupling. We're going to use our RCS to get out of there. And then we're going to deploy... Remember when I said that I was going to adjust this baby? This fairing from our normal thing? Well, look at this. Boom. I could have easily kept that going, but I just wanted to deploy that clamshell. Okay, get that RCS off. Now, since we're going to be coming in at such a wild, wild angle... I want to do an adjustment. So, somewhere here, I want to add a maneuver. And we're going to slow us down a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is. That is not what I want to be doing. Hold on. Close this up. I need to make sure to do this on the blue one. Add that maneuver. And then small increments. I want to. Slow down. Because I want to rotate with Minimus. Now, in, an, in our actual solar system, planets and moons can rotate at different angles. I forget which one it is. But one of the planets, at the very least, rotates counterclockwise, as it were. But here, they all rotate in the same direction, which means this. So I want to come in like that. And see if I can adjust this. 30k, sure, that's good to establish our, our first orbit. So let's make sure to add our maneuver node for the rover, which is in one day that we're going to be executing that burn. In the meantime, let's check. We are good with this baby. It can rotate a little bit as it wants. We are fine. Space Center. That is our first mission that we're going to be tracking. Did we get an alarm? Yep. Uh. Okay. 
So, the survey of Minmus. That is something that we still need to do. This is one we need to accomplish. Might be worthwhile to make that satellite right now. Um, because that, as I believe, is not ongoing. Yeah, see? Because this one of the Mun is ongoing. 37 more days. <laughs> That's our jet problem. That's one we're going to be doing later. These rescues. Um, this rescue we want to do. We can still do science in space around Kerbin. That's an easy one. We can probably combine with uh, the rescue missions. Um, build new surface outpost. Long-term goal. Waiting for that one. This is landing a rover on the moon. We'll, we'll do that later. This is the second rescue that we can combine. Survey of the magnetic field around the moon. That's cool. This is the one we're doing. And biome scans. So, in essence, if we make a satellite that can do this for Minmus then that satellite can do the same thing. If we equip that with the biome scanner, it's going to do the same thing for the Mun and Kerbin. So... Would we be able to do all three at once? Let's try that. We're gonna get... Yes! We're gonna make one... Um... Oh, that's gonna be tricky. We're going to make one launcher that's going to get these three probes into orbit. And we're going to have several challenges. One is, let's see if we can adjust that green screen a little bit. One is going to be that the first satellite I want in a polar orbit of Kerbin. So that's going to be uh, have to go from equatorial to polar. And the other ones are going to need enough, RC, uh, enough fuel to get to the Mun and get to um, Minmus. I'm going to see if I can adjust the green screen a little. Because, you know, nothing bad happened the last time we did this. Oh god, oh god, it's back to the future! Oh god, no! Okay, that's, that doesn't work out for me. Probably going to have to adjust that color a little bit. Uh, why did I mess this up earlier? Nope, that's the wrong direction. That's That's going somewhere. Oh god, too far, too far, back, back, back. We're, we're getting somewhere. How about I actually go a little bit farther? This is the stuff you don't get on other channels, people. This is why you come here. Get a darker green. Reduce the similarity. Ah. <sighs> My god, what on earth is the green of this chroma key screen? I hate this thing with a burning passion. With a burning passion, I tell you. Sadly, switching orbit from equatorial to polar costs much fuel. Yep. But fortunately, if we're going to make a very small satellite then it's actually not that hard to get a good amount of fuel in there. Oh, oh, go back, go back. That's terrible. That's terrible. Doing it live. Okay, either we can do it like this, or we can just do it like this, or you know what? I can just turn off my camera. What do you think? If only we're an easier way to check this live, to, to do this and get immediate feedback rather than have to change the setting and then see whether it eats up my microphone or not. Ugh. All because I wanted to show you the green screen. Also apply some paper with sticky tape to the areas where the sunlight's seeping in. Eh, probably. This problem though, this is not the sunlight anymore. This is... Um, actually, is this... Where the sunlight is hitting it. I don't have good... You know what? I'll try that. Give me a second. Quality streaming!
Unveils the secret. Hey. <laughs> Back. Oh, hello. No, 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 not, not doing well. Not doing well. How about if I move this part back? Better. Doing better. Let's, let's keep down. Okay. Um, here's the magic solution. I moved the green screen back and put a chair against it, and uh, there we go. Problem solved. Nice on topic return. Yeah. <laughs> Spare mold size, indeed. Okay, Huthor, was that really your. Um, was that your segue? Throw in a Hideo, uh, Hideo Kojima quote and then go, speaking of Kojima, funny thing, now that you've brought up Hideo Kojima. Okay. Now, um, we're going to make a new satellite. And we're going to see how much how much Delta V we can get out of this baby. So, first we're going to equip it with everything it needs. F this thing will need the disc scanner. Which looks like some kind of Revenge of the Nerds um, keyboard, keytar even. But this is the scanner that we are going to need to point at our planet and moons. Let's see. So we need it to point this scanner, but it also needs the magnetometer and ah, these little brakes and the plasma scan. Let's extend these to have a look at what our beauty is going to look like when it's done. And we're going we're going to want it to have power. Oh, uh, hmm. See what I mean, Alex? What, 400 hours into the game possibly? And I still don't know how the rotation commands work. Believe it or not, that was not intended. He made the quote because it's a great quote, but that's part of the idea. Huh. <laughs> hey there, Fub. How are you doing? Paint your back wall green. Yeah, the, the problem is the back wall is, is quite a while that way, and even when you do that, I still have the lighting problem. This is just actually not a good spot for this PC, but the only other good place that I would have would be to make my bedroom into a streaming room, but then where would I keep my bed? There's There are limits to how much I enjoy streaming. Okay, this would be good. We need this baby to be able to communicate with Kerbin. So let's give it these uh, Sputnik style backward pointing antenna because it looks cool. And we could probably do with a battery pack. Oi, oi! That's not what I told you to do. There we go. You making chicken dinner? Sort of AFK? Hey, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I will see you in a few then, Vaden. Let's see. So this gives it 435.